My name is Mike Eager. I'm the president and founder of DynaLube, and we'd like to also show you a test today illustrating why you would also want to use this product in all of your equipment and vehicles. This is a recognized laboratory test testing motor oil's ability to stand up under the forces in your engine. The four forces that your engine works against are pressure, heat, friction, and contamination. Those are the things that cause your motor to, to wear out. In building uh, the DynaLube company and this breakthrough lubrication product, we've learned a lot of things about metal, as well as knowing everything there is to be known at this point about lubrication. For instance, when you look at a flat piece of metal, whether it be an engine component or this piece of metal right here, with the naked eye, it's a flat piece of metal. But if you were to look at this under a strong microscope, you would see that the metal has pores in it. They're called micropores. Now, a rubber sponge will absorb water, right? But, ladies and gentlemen, a metal sponge, if you will, will not absorb motor oil. The motor oil is only on the surface of the metal, and it drains right back off from the metal and creates this particular problem. Let's say that this canister with the oil in the bottom simulates the crankcase, the oil pan of your engine. When your engine is sitting cold, this is where all of the motor oil is. It drains off from the upper parts of the motor. When you first start your engine in, in the morning, you don't hear it unless you were to put a stethoscope on top of your motor. Then you would hear metal grinding against metal in the upper port of the motor because the motor oil is not there yet. The motor oil does not get in place into the upper ports of your motor until your oil pump picks up that oil circulates it under pressure, sometimes as much as two minutes before every metal working part is coated with lubrication. We have eliminated this dry start problem with our product called DynaLube, which penetrates into the very micropores of the metal and never drains off. So when you first start your engine, you have no more dry start, and that is a tremendous savings to you, 70 to 80 percent savings of the wear factor of your engine and components. First of all, we're going to simulate a dry start, exactly what happens in your engine when you first start it up on a cold morning. This is a case-hardened steel Timken roll. This is an equally hardened steel bearing race, just like you have in wheel bearings on your automobile. These are also very similar substances that you have in your crankshaft, your camshaft, your rocker arms, your lifters, and different engine components. We've cleaned the bearings off totally with alcohol and also with emery paper between each test because we have to make sure there is no DynaLube left in the very pores of the metal. And so without any lubricant at all, on this cantilever system that you see, which adds a tremendous amount of pounds per square inch of pressure between these two bearing surfaces, we're going to start the machine and we're going to start adding weights on this cantilever system. It you can tell that there's a, a, a great amount of leverage involved here. These are pound and an eighth weights. As we add these, you're going to hear some noise take place in these bearings. Again, a little bit of this is what happens in your engine. So let's see how many weights it takes to lock up the bearings without any oil. There's one. With three weights, we had total bearing failure. And when you look at this bearing at about 5,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, you'll notice that it gouged a nice big gouge of metal right out of the uh, steel hardened bearing. Now we're going to turn the bearing to a new spot. Now we'll add any premium grade motor oil. They virtually all test the same. But today we're going to use a premium grade synthetic motor oil, highly recommended motor oil. We're adding just enough motor oil to the cup so that the bearing is coated with oil, running in oil, simulating exactly what happens in your engine when the oil is in place. Now we'll start adding weights again. We'll be able to test the motor oil's ability to lubricate over the dry start by seeing how many additional weights we can add before the bearings lock up again. One additional weight over the dry start, and what we just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen, is under extreme pressure, about 6,000 6, pounds per square inch, the molecules in the motor oil broke down and retreated away from the metal, allowing metal-to-metal -metal contact the same as in the dry start. 
And what this tells us is two things. It says, yes, we need motor oil in our engine. But it also tells us that if we want the optimum protection, the best performance to help the environment conserving fuel and energy, motor oil alone is not enough. By the way, this is why every race driver uses additives in their oil, and also the airlines industry uses an additive package. They don't have totally what we have in Dynalube, but someday we hope they do. What we're going to do now is simulate what we do in your engine. We add an ounce of Dynalube per quart in all of your, your engine components and your automobile gearbox components from transmissions to differentials. So we're squirting some Dynalube in here, simulating exactly what we would do in your car. Now on this rough bearing where the motor oil failed, and also with the four weights in place, which represents over 6,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Let's see if it will start back up again with the Dynalube in place. The first benefit is the squealing noise went away and it started under extreme pressure. But let's see how much better the Dynalube formula makes that oil as far as its ability to withstand pressure, heat, friction, and contamination. There's five, six, seven, Hey, folks, that's twice the protection of any premium grade motor oil. Still running fine, no difference in the RPMs of the motor. How would you like to have a lubricant in every working mechanism of your vehicles like this? The product is absolutely amazing what it does. We'll continue to show you the kind of stress that it will take. There's nine, 10, 11, 12. That's three times the protection of any premium grade motor oil still running smooth. Some other factors that we think you'll find interesting, your, mo your motor oils will break down at about 325 degrees temperature and easily in the summertime running your air conditioning or if you're towing a trailer or a boat, you will exceed 325 degrees internally in your engine. We have elements in Dynalube that will take over 1200 degrees of heat. So we go the full spectrum of heat without metal wear. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, that's four times the pressure, heat, and friction at which any motor oil that we've tested breaks down, including the additives also, the, the popular additives that you might see on the market. And there's 17, 18, 19, 20. We're up to over 78,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, ladies and gentlemen. So we went from about 6,000 PSI to 78,000 PSI without failure. That is an impressive difference in the lubrication factor that we have created for this motor oil.